awkward pose time. So I wanted to show y'all something really cool. I know Lane the Triceratops behind us gets a lot of love because it was found with perfectly preserved skin impressions, but we also have perfectly preserved skin impressions of Edmontosaurus. Skin impressions that you can actually come to the museum and touch yourself. I know, it's crazy. But how did skin impressions survive? Why have we been able to find it in such perfect condition? Let's talk about that. So one of the ways the skin impressions may have survived up until modern day is that they were simply an oversupply of carcasses. Scavengers can't chew up every carcass. So when hundreds of duck-billed dinosaurs died in one event or dry season, scavengers simply couldn't dismember all of them. And the scenario kind of compounds upon itself. Once the hide was sun-hardened enough, any more scavenger coming through would have an even harder time. It became less edible to them, less viable as a food source. So let's say all of these dinosaurs died in a drought. Well, when the rains came after a drought, the sun-dried bodies were washed down rivered and then covered by very thick layers of wet sand. Now, even under these ideal conditions, dinosaur skin tissue usually rotted away underground. However, an impression of the skin could be preserved in the sand as it hardened into sandstone, which is the case here. And that is just so fascinating to me. And it's even cooler that we have it on display here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science and you can touch it yourself. We're not hiding anything. Come touch it for yourself. So make sure you're following us here and across other social media because in a video soon, I wanna talk about the stomach contents of this animal and how it completely blew old theories out of the water. It's really cool.